Hello everybody, welcome to the session and uh, today's objective is uh, to talk about EDIs as a lot many uh, people uh, they have uh, asked me uh, on the uh, chat boards and on emails and also on the WhatsApp that they would like to have some videos on EDI. So I have finally decided to make some videos on EDI and uh, I have decided to share some knowledge on it. So as a first step I would be um, today talking about the very very basic about EDI uh, which is the segments and the IDOC type okay now uh, basically um, depending upon your business requirement you will be picking up an IDOC type and again uh, uh, if in case there is any uh, development involved uh, what could be the developments all these things uh, whether we can have an extension to it what is an extension exactly how you attach it all these things we'll be talking about in the upcoming sessions but today we will be focusing our main area into the IDOC types and the IDOC segments okay now um, let's get into action so first of all um, I would not be looking into this SAP Z access it's a bit boring so what I'm gonna do is I'm going into the area menu for the EDI so that transaction code for this is WEDI okay we call it as WEDI so let me just pick it up in uh, code so once you uh, press enter you can see here you have got SAP easy access IDOC and EDI basis and the most important thing is here now you have only got your focus about the EDI and the IDOCs all right so uh, basically we are going to talk about the IDOC types and the segments so that will be a part of the development all right but let's have a look at what and all other things that we do have in this menu so we do have a display IDOC here which is W02 okay and then here in the administration you can see the partner profile port definition uh, then RFC destinations then IDOC administrations most importantly about the finding of the IDOCs wherein you have the active monitoring uh, then also you have the database uh, search then you can also check on the statuses um, of the file interface and the SIPIC interface now um, you can do a test which is your test tool which is very very important I would be again making one more video on this and I'll be sharing with you that how you can use this in a much more effective way then uh, you can um, uh, check on a lot many other things uh, I, we will be uh, talking about all these things this message control how you work and uh, what is the status file um, all these things what is the importance of it we'll be talking about it in upcoming videos and this is the Bible and this is the this is the most important part which is documentation wherein you will find the documentation for all the IDOC types okay uh, and this is the development area where we can see the IDOC types and IDOC segments all right the message types as well so based on different message types uh, you can tie up what IDOC type will be fulfilling your messages uh, or could be really relevant to accommodate that particular message types all right so now um, we will be looking at first IDOC types so I'm going into IDOC types okay wow I already have one so here confirm transfer order okay let's have a look at it itself if in case you would like to uh, find out any of the object name let's just say so then you can just press up WM star do an F4 it will give you a couple of list but if in case you do not want again uh, nothing uh, no problem you can just click on this and you will get all the list now it is very tedious to find out but again I mean you know you can do the search on the basis of the types like for example if I am into WM uh, what and all IDOC types are there uh, you can find out uh, number of the IDOCs, IDOC types are like huge so anyways uh, let's try to figure out what is the IDOC type then in the upcoming videos I will tell you a lot more so that you will be very very proficient enough in ADIs so here WM star I'm going to do let us pick up one because we would like to only understand this from the demonstration perspective so I'm going to uh, do um, I'm going to pick up WM BID 02 um, BID01 is there but uh, yeah this one stock movements from external system and WMBID01 goes movement uh, from the mobile data entry so basically these are the two ones which are very very important and widely used 
either this one then you would uh, you'd be having like tessa dev orders etc etc uh, okay, and WMTO, 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 RD, WMTO, ID01 transfer order, and then WMTO RDs. All these are the mini ones which we will be able to use. Um, this is uh, send PQ, this is transfer requirement, this is confirmation on the TO. Okay, so let's pick up this WMBID01 or WMBID02. So I'm picking up WMBID02 and then I'm going to display mode. Now the basic type because uh, this is the one which will have all the basic SAP standard fields. If in case you would like to have any kind of uh, extra logic that should be added or any extra fields which are like customized fields and you will be going for an extension which needs to be added to this basic type okay um, but that again we will be discussing in the upcoming videos because uh, that will be a little more technical detail so you can see here uh, this one is actually having um, three segments here even mbxyh and even mbxyi and even mbxyj so you can see here even mbxyh this is your header segment basically okay and then this is uh, xyi this one is your item segment and then this is xyj which is your um goose movement from non sap data so let's see that what all fields would be there inside this okay now uh, we have just seen that we30 this is for the idoc types and the segments uh, if in case you would like to see what in all details are there in the segments then probably you can go into the segments and the, the transaction code is we31 okay okay i have uh, we31 here okay and i'm going into this even mbxyh so even mbxyh let's type this okay e1 mbxyh wow so you can see here uh, we have three major releases out of it so now i'm going into the latest version of this okay oh my god <laughs> i love this okay so you can see here um you what at all you have you have lot many fields here you have a uh, two text fields which is output length is 35 now here this is the export length basically let me see if in case it goes let me adjust this so that you can see what it is talking about so basically here the export length okay now this bldat this is eight characters booted is eight characters xblnr this is again a text field so this is 16 characters bktxt this is 25 characters so majorly you have all of them like either dates like Buddha this is your posting date okay then you have your xblnr this is freed bolner this is your bolner uh, okay and uh, this is your username basically so all these things um, basically here you can see the export length okay now let me just go into the other segment which is xyi so here you can see this is your most latest version of xyi again here also if you see you have lot many fields like material number your plant your storage location your batch your moment type your stock type okay special indicators then your vendor your total fields etc 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 so there are so many fields and this is your um, text at the handle top and this is your all output fields so you can see but now it will be very tedious if in case you do not know about all these fields then how would you know so you have all the help available in the documentation that we were just looking at right so let me go back to Vedi. So you can see here in your documentation series idoc types so click on here and then we had WMM BID 02 okay so if you would like to see the segments particular okay this is your segment XY H 002 and you can see that these are the fields okay now basically uh, this is your document date 
this is your posting date bootlet is your posting date basically yeah xblnr is a reference document number basically uh, this reference document number bktxt all these are text fields usually frbnr your, your bill of lading xablnr your goods receipts of material issue material this is basically a material slip number uh, grgi slip what we call it as okay then uh, you also have your reference document number for this is a long text basically here you can see both the both the ones for frbnr uh, which you have on the top here so this is a long text for this uh, xblnr also you have a long text so if in case you want you can go for a long text or a short text based on your business requirement now you can see here um, a little more detail so you uh, depending upon your business scenario uh, you you uh, what fields you're going to use what fields will have what impact this t code is a very very important field because this actually uh, it acts like a qualifier or on the basis of transaction codes you can have multiple uh, scenarios designed that if in case it is one then what next if it is two what next maybe you can do that way or maybe um, you can uh, if nothing you can just uh, what transaction code you have implemented even that transaction code you can capture here okay now uh, if in case you want to uh, map how you will be mapping all these things uh, that we will be taking one more session that how this is mapped um, for the EDI files okay now this is your item level you can see here this is your xyi002 so all the items just now what we saw let me just show you again this is your item level xyi so all the x you can see here ebelp ebln this is your document number your document line item so all these things you are having here so the same things what you can see here all these things you can see here and you can also see the uh, documentation of it like for example what is SOB case this is a special stock indicator like for example if it is consigned K if in case it's going to be a subcontracting then it would be O etc 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 um, your movement types your batch number charge the storage location your plant your material number etc etc all these things will be here and uh, if you can see here your this is a quantity in the unit of the entry all right then your ebln this is your document number this is basically your purchase order number then you have um ablad this is a goose recipient recipient or ship to party sorry ablad this is your unloading point and uh, sgtxt which is your item text basically wow you have lot many and that list goes on so depending upon your business scenario you can uh, add all these you can uh, decide whether which field you'd like to use and which field you'd like to map and accordingly you can map now you we also have one more segment which is x y i instead of that x y j right so we have not seen that so let's go and see what is the uh, fields available in x y j okay so in x y j let's see what and all things are available here this is basically your handling units I think here x is your handling unit number oh so UB type okay LGPLS storage type storage bin uh, and uh, line item oh okay so there are a lot many things here so let's see what in all things is there in XYJ So let's do a page down. This is two second structure XYI. Yep, here it is XYJ. So in XYJ, what and all things we have, you can see trading partner. Uh, okay, and what and all you have, UMCLA class numbers okay check boxes requirement date for the component and oh storage type storage bin umlgt umlgp then your exedive your external handling unit identification number your base unit of measure then your quantity your proposed quantities xmevo okay and uh, what else do you have here yep this is your storage type storage bin and your material document year 
and your metal document item wow so accordingly uh, what and all fields will be required or relevant so we will be picking up all those uh, relevant fields and then we will map it accordingly and uh, then uh, all those would be converted into an EGI file when we will be sending it across to the final business uh, to business connectivities so this is all about uh, the IDOC types and IDOC segments both I hope you enjoyed you liked, and you understood a bit so which one do you like uh, did you try any of the IDOC types basically my favorite is uh, WMBID02 and so you can also check a couple of IDOC types and then let me know which IDOC type and which item segments you like the most and why alright and also please like share and uh, you can pay some comments in the comment box whatever um, uh, once you try if in case you like it okay and above all please hit the bell icon so that you can uh, keep on receiving the uh, videos from me on a daily basis thank you so much for watching this video have a great day